Hey folks, Matt from Brentavo, and today I want to talk about how to use everyday imagery that you find as distress filters in your artwork. Having a distress filter can help take a very basic, plain image and make it either unique, fun, or feel vintage. Your customers are going to love it. It's a very simple thing to do. Okay, so today I'm going to actually go through the steps it takes to take a photo as you're out and about and actually put it into your computer and use it as a mask in Illustrator to help make your print really pop. So the first thing is, is what types of textures work well? Well, really anything that you're able to look at and see good weathering out of. It could be a series of cracks in the cement. It could be a really old piece of wood on the side of a house that is starting to peel and fray off. Or it could be something like this photo, which is just texture of a sign that had been sitting in the sun for probably decades and it started to crack. I walked by this and thought it was perfect for a great vintage Plastisol texture. I took a nice photo just by getting up close to it, making sure it was in focus. So when I'm out and about walking my dog or out for a walk and I see anything that has that good textured weather feel to it, I'll get my phone out and take a photo and add it to a textures album. Later on, I'll be able to go through that photo album and find what texture works best and send it over to my computer and start working with it to become a texture. So now that we've got the texture we want to use, let's hop into Adobe and get started. All right, so now that I've got my photo uploaded onto my Mac, I've imported it into Photoshop. As we can see here, it's a pretty basic photo. If I look in close, it starts to pixelate as I get in. It's not super high resolution. But for what I want to use it for, it doesn't necessarily have to be. So what I'm looking at here is all this great cracking and crackling of this natural paint on this sign that I saw. Now down here in this corner, there's like a hard area I don't necessarily want. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just do some basic cleanup. I'm gonna go ahead and just crop a little bit of that out, get rid of what I don't need, and then I'm good. Now the next thing I wanna do is actually grayscale this out just so I can start to use this in other formats. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to image, and I'm gonna to go to mode, and I'm gonna click grayscale. Okay, I do wanna discard that color information, so I'm gonna go ahead and click discard, and now I'm left with just this grayscale black and white image. Now, there's a lot of medium gray tones in here that maybe I also don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and head up to image, adjustments, brightness, and contrast. Now, what I like to do is just go ahead and up that contrast a little bit, which helps get rid of some of those mid-tones, it also really does help bring out the edge definition of some of those little cracks that are in there. I might even up the brightness just a tiny bit just to help make it a little bit more on the white side and click OK. So there's lots of ways you can work with this, but that right there looks great to me. So now I'm going to go ahead and just save this as a TIFF and I'm going to get ready to take this over into Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Save As and I'm going to make it a TIFF, and I'm going to save it underneath my textures. Click Save. This isn't as much of an importance, the image compression. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it is and click OK. So I've gone ahead and taken my photo, grayscaled this, brightened it up a little bit, and helped some of that contrast before I even go into Illustrator where I'm gonna to start to use this TIFF as a distress texture. So now that I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and head over into my Illustrator. So here I've got this very nice, clean Printavo print, but it's kind of boring in my, my opinion. I want to make a little more out of this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place that sign cracking TIFF that I just saved. Do that one more time. Sign cracking, here we go. And I'm going to just click once and place it. There we have it. We can see it's plenty big. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down just to size a little bit, constrain it down, and I'm gonna place it right over my words. Now how big or how small will also adjust how big those cracks are in this print. I'm gonna lay it right over those words. Once I have it where I want it to be, I'm going to select the words as well as that texture. I'm gonna have my transparency window open right here. And here we can see we've got the ability to make a mask. I'm going to create an opacity mask by clicking Create Mask. Now, right there, we can see it's done some sweet work. Now, I can play with the clip, I can play with the invert, I can do different things with it until we find what looks the best. And that right there looks pretty solid to me. We can see this great cracking happening. When I go to print this, it's going to open this up and make it look like a very cool vintage 
distressed print. Now, maybe those are too big, I want them to be even smaller. I can go ahead and release this, and I can say, let's go ahead and turn this a bit. Oh, not the whole word, just turn this top layer here. There we go, and maybe bring it down just a little bit to make those lines a little bit smaller. Highlight everything, and make that mask again. Again, I can play with the clip and the invert to make it look how I want it to look. And right there, I think that looks great. That's gonna be a fun print, look distressed, and it was all from something I found in life. So now, I'm ready to go ahead and print this. All I wanna do is make sure it's ready to go on a film board, so I'd probably add in my registration marks and drop it into place. Otherwise, it's going to print perfectly. Even though it wasn't a vector-based file, that TIFF, it will actually allow me to make this larger or smaller and hold all of that detail. So we can see that even though I'm making this larger and that TIFF wasn't vectored, it's still holding that detail nice and smooth, which is great. All right, let's put it back here. Let's center it up and we're ready to rock. So as you can see, this is a really fun way to take everyday textures that you're seeing in your life and bring them to life in your prints. Your customers are going to love having a unique imprint, not just a simple, boring text. Have some fun, take some photos, and enjoy.